Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 14th of November 2021. It's five past six in the morning. I've just gone to APCO to get my coffee. And now Nala and I are sitting in front of the heater because it's a bit chilly. It's very wet outside. I think it's the wettest my ground has ever been. It's like puddles outside that like just walking on the ground is like walking in a little like a two inch puddle. Um, all right, so now we know that people have to get sanitized to make it through what's in store. Uh, people have asked me how and I can tell you exactly how I did it. I did it back in 2002 and I think it took, I don't know, probably, let me think, maybe a month. Hopefully it takes you quicker, but it took me a month. Um, I was getting married. I used to run um, mind, body, spirit type events. And I was engaged to Mark Caldwell, which is Sammy's dad. And Mark's mum was a born again Christian at the Church of Assembly of God. And um, she was a very, uh, I don't know if she is now, she didn't like me much. <laughs> no one's ever liked me much. Um, she's, uh, you know those people that go to church and think everyone else is bad? Or well, she's one of those, or she was one of those. Let's hope she's changed. Um, anyway, I wanted her to love me because she used to say that I was demonic because I used to run all these different events and I shouldn't be with her son and blah, 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 blah. And because she used to say I was demonic, I wanted to prove to her that I wasn't because to me, tarot and astrology and all that, they're just tools to help you get in touch with Source or God or whatever. And like I think even in the Bible it says tarot's, tarot's there. Like it's, it's not evil. It's not demonic. It is if like anything can be evil or demonic depending on your intent of use with it. Um, so I said to her that I wanted to, because she kept talking about Jesus and and I can't say all this Jesus stuff, like I'm not churchy and I've always believed in the universe, like if I'm driving along and um, I've got to be somewhere and I need a car park right out the front because I'm running a bit late, well I'll, while I'm driving along I'll send the intention and I'll tell the universe exactly where I want to park the car, right out the front of the building, blah, 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 blah. And nine out of ten times, I get a park right out the front. So I've always known, and my dad always told me I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. So I've always known that I've got faith, because I just have, because I always land on my feet. Um, I actually told my dad that the last time I saw him, Oh, I'm getting teary. These are not sad tears. These are just tears. I don't even know where they just came from. Um, because I, he said that I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. <laughs> I just knew that everything was all right. <laughs> my tears used to make him uneasy too. <laughs> Oh well, I know that he got the Holy Spirit in him before he died. I know that for fact. Ah, and I can prove it with a 5D message that I got from him. Ah. So, um, if you feel funny or weird or just uncomfortable saying Jesus, Jesus or Holy Spirit or whatever, so anyway, I used to sit on the couch of an evening 
and I used to just sit on the couch and I used to call the Holy Spirit in. Oh no, I didn't. I think I just, in private, I just used to say, Jesus, please show yourself to me. Jesus, please show yourself to me. Jesus, please show yourself to me. Over and over every night. And then one night, oh my Godfather, one night, I'll tell you what happened. I won't tell you now because I'll make a video on it. Because I'll read you the story that I sent my dad in a three-page letter on May the 18th. And um, that explains everything. So I hope you're having a lovely wake up. And just remember when you're waking up to talk out loud. And that will help you to discover what your dream world was about last night. So I'll chat to you later.